Today on The Daily Dose, The Poor People's Campaign. In November of 1967, Martin Luther King Jr. and his Southern Christian Leadership Conference decided to undertake the Poor People's Campaign in an attempt to demand economic justice for the nation's poor. We read one day, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But if a man doesn't have a job or an income, he has neither life nor liberty and the possibility for the pursuit of happiness. He merely exists. Estimated that we spend $322,000 for each enemy we kill in Vietnam, while we spend in the so-called war on poverty in America only about $53 for each person classified as poor. After King's unjust assassination on April 4th, 1968, which led to widespread rioting in most major American cities. King's longtime friend and fellow civil rights activist, Reverend Ralph Abernathy, stepped in to fulfill King's vision of a mass protest on Washington, D.C., while the Reverend Jesse Jackson stepped in as city manager to what would become known as Resurrection City. Busloads of a broad coalition of Native Americans, white, Latino, and African Americans began arriving into the district on May the 12th, 1968, occupying the 15-acre makeshift tent city near the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, holding daily protests against federal lawmakers' dogged inaction on poverty. For the next six weeks, some 2,700 protesters endured harsh living conditions, including rain, mud, heat, and high humidity, as well as frequent clashes with police. The beleaguered demonstration culminated with the Poor People's March of June 19, 1968, with an estimated 50,000 people in attendance, including speeches by Vice President Hubert Humphrey, Democratic presidential candidate Eugene McCarthy, Abernathy, and King's widow, Coretta Scott King. Distracted by ongoing racial tensions and the Vietnam War, the Poor People's Campaign came to an end on June 24, when a 36-day permit terminated the demonstrators' legal right of assembly, and when 500 protesters refused to vacate their soggy encampment, authorities used tear gas to disperse the remaining crowds. More than 100 protesters were arrested during the melee, including Abernathy, and while the Poor People's Campaign failed to bring about any significant anti-poverty legislation by Congress, it marked the first time that the Civil Rights Movement expanded beyond demands for racial equality to include interracial class issues and economic goals for the nation's poor, making the Poor People's Campaign the last bold act of nonviolent protest by a nation's revered and fallen hero. And there you have it, the Poor People's Campaign, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.